Hello guys, welcome back and here we are again in um, Access and Retrieve Computer-Based Data. Okay, so please watch our videos because when we get back, we will be putting some questions from our online quiz, uh, online lessons to our exams. Okay, so make sure you're watching videos. If you don't understand, just ask us some question, message us. Or you can have your dictionary or phone to translate words you don't understand. Okay. So moving on, memory sticks or flash drive. You call this USB, but it's actually flash drive. So you can store data here and information. Okay. So most common portable storage. So it's portable because it's small and you can just carry it, put it in your pocket and skip. Available in various sizes. It can be small this, this, or that one. Or this big. Available on most computer systems. You can use it on every computer system. Laptops, um, desktops, um, also in projectors. They have these USB ports that you can stick your flash drive and it will the information will be accessed. Okay. Sizes also is like it has 100, um, 100 MB, um, gig, terabyte or so. Terabyte so big. Portable hard disk. We have this now and it's like kind of small square. It can be like this, but it's pure for storage. It's like maybe 500 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte or one terabyte used for storing information, files, or others. Same as the disk inside the computer, usually has a greater storage than memory sticks because those small, of course, it's just small, so they are limited maybe in just um, 32 gig or 120 gig, something like that. But this hard disk can carry much more bigger um, information, like one terabyte, or 500 gigs. Yep. So network drive. Drive attached to another computer within a network, often accessible to many in the network. Maybe drive that only stores data from users. So this network drive is like you share in one, one information drive or hard drive or hard disk where everyone can share and look into it, edit it, or use something, okay? Like, for example, there's three of us, and we have different computers. Then we can share, and we have this network drive, where in our storage is just one, where we, all of us, can access through it. We can use the information there. We can put some information, and yeah, that's it. Next, extensions. Each file has an extension after the dot. So each extension indicates the program that created the file. So if, so if it's a word, it is a document. So when you see, when you save a word, it says word.doc. Can be three or four letters like this, doc, jpg, img, or something, case insensitive, and also allows the operating system to know which program to open when the file is double clicked. Okay, so for here, word.doc, so you can open it with Microsoft Word or with um, Google Docs. And about here, it's JPG, so you can open it with um, Windows um, Image Viewer or some apps that you have for image viewing. Okay. JPG, you have also, um, what do we call this? Let me think. It can be PPT for PowerPoint, or also you have this, I forgot it. <clears throat> there are a lot, actually, okay? We, can, we will talk about it more, or you have encountered some with Teacher Martale, okay? That's it for now. Goodbye. See you next time.